Mandya district as a prime minister has just landed a short while back. There was a grand road show and right now a cultural reception for the prime minister as he will be now making his way to the venue, the event where today uh, several projects that uh, will be inaugurated by him worth over 16,000 crore rupees. And the main highlight so far as far as today's inauguration is concerned will be uh, the Bengaluru Mysuru Expressway as uh, he will be inaugurating that and will be opening it up for the people of Karnataka. Now the prime minister fifth ever visit to the pole bound state of Karnataka as the assembly elections that are be uh, dates that are due to be announced by the election commission of India. So right now those pictures that are coming in as uh, those uh, projects that have now been uh, it will be inaugurated and have been now outlined as far as the prime minister reviewing them. You can see the chief minister uh, Basavraj Bomai and also union minister uh, Nitin Gadkari along uh, with the prime minister Narendra Modi as uh, the first uh, road show that happened and thereafter after the laying of the foundation stones of key projects in Mandya district, uh, we are also told that several initiatives also in the Hubali Dharwar area that will be inaugurated and uh, what the Prime Minister's office has been saying that the rapid pace of development of infrastructure projects have been a testament to the vision of the Prime Minister to ensure that there is world-class connectivity across the country. But we, if we talk about the main highlight in detail so far as the Prime Minister who will be dedicating the Bengaluru Mysuru Express expressway and has been uh, uh, describing this expressway as an important connectivity project that will contribute to Karnataka's growth story. Growing across to Pinky now, Pinky, those pictures that are coming in right now, we saw the road show thereafter, the cultural reception and the Prime Minister seems to be reviewing the other projects as well. Pinky? Uh, I couldn't hear the question. If you can uh, just repeat yes, the question. Just a quick recap of uh, the Prime Minister ever since he landed in Mysuru. If you can tell us about the roadshow thereafter, the cultural reception. And right now, we are told that he's reviewing other projects as well. Right, uh, just before half an hour when PM Narendra Modi, you know, landed in uh, Mandya district here, uh, a very grand welcome we could see uh, as, uh, you know, PM Modi, uh, Modi's convoy just, uh, uh, you know, passed through this particular uh, highway that uh, we could uh, say. From here, uh, the people welcomed him in a very grand manner, chanting Modi, Modi all around and clearly a clear message in fact from the BJP that it's just Vikas, it's just the development that BJP seemed to be focusing and in every election uh, rally that's what the high command at least seemed to be pitching for and uh, uh, as you can see the supporters who had gathered here are seemed to be leaving this particular venue. Uh, they welcomed Prime Minister Modi with flowers and petals chanting Modi, Modi everywhere and that itself leaves a clear message for the BJP that will they have a clear uh, uh, you know uh, uh, support uh, in terms of votes as well because this particular region if we talk about Mysore belt seem to be a hardcore JDS belt in fact and uh, uh, the, the people over here the vocal ligas had been traditional voters for the uh, JDS and the Congress will BJP seem to be uh, you know pitching their votes here that's remained to be a biggest question right now because so far it was Lingayats who seem to be the traditional voters for the BJP but in this particular elections BJP seem to be focusing not on just one particular uh, side of uh, voters not just Lingayats but also vocal ligas and that's the reason the recent days if we see many projects uh, uh, were in fact inaugurated in this particular Mysore belt if we talk about the inauguration of T2 the terminal 2 of the Bengaluru airport uh, Tumkur uh, the heli helicopter unit in fact and now this expressway seem to be a biggest relief for those people who seem to be traveling regularly from Mysore to Bengaluru or Mysore, uh, from Bengaluru to Mysore. Uh, clearly, usually it you used to take three hours, whereas now anyone can reach if, if within just 90 minutes of the time and that will just save the time. And uh, the, this particular expressway, if we talk about it, is completely a high-tech uh, expressway, a very smooth expressway. In fact, uh, we did a reality check with the water, glass of water inside the car.
are and uh, not even a single uh, you know drop of water spilled uh, from the glass so that shows how smooth this particular expressway has been made uh, you know making uh, very easy for all these commuter commuters who will be traveling every day uh, making easy for in fact people traveling from mangalore